Lily Martinez is a very nice and friendly person. She has her routine down quite well. She cares greatly about her customers. If she has any problems with a paper being missed, she goes above and beyond to contact those customers to better resolve the solution if there is any problems. Lily never complains about her job. She comes in and gets everything done in a timely manner. She's been a carrier for seven years and her complaint ratio is very good. My name is Luli Martinez and I've been with the Standard Times since 2006. Um, I throw about 320 papers. I um, have two children. I'm married. I graduated from Angelo State University. Um, I've been here in San Angelo since 1988. I'm from a little town in uh, South Central Texas, Sonora, Texas. I grew up in the country and that's about it. My hobbies include crossword puzzles. Actually, the, the one in the Standard Times, I save it every day and I work on it. Um, I enjoy uh, knitting and crocheting. Um, I enjoy cooking, just spending time with my family. Um, just home stuff like that. <laughs> I'm most proud of my children. I have an 18 year old and a 20 year old. Uh, they both graduated high school and right now they're both attending Angelo State University like their mom. And um, they're fairly well behaved children. Um, they make decent grades so um, I'm, I'm proud of my children. The most memorable experience that I've had delivering newspapers was when I had a route that was out in the rural area of San Angelo and I was filling a newspaper stand with Sunday newspapers and it had a lock on it because you have to put money in it so and I, we always had trouble with the lock trying to get it open and I was struggling with the lock it was three o'clock in the morning it's dark and it's raining just misting and all of a sudden I see a shadow coming up from you know from across the street from across the road it was a road and it was I guess a, a man in what seemed like a hooded cape and a big staff, a big stick, <laughs> and was walking towards me. And it just, of course, it scared me half to death. And I was struggling with the lock, couldn't get it open. You know, when you're just, you know, the boogeyman's going to come get you, and you're trying your best and you can't get it. I finally got it right as he walked up. I jumped into my car and I just froze. And he said, uh, excuse me, I just came to tell you that sometimes there's rattlesnakes in that uh, stand. He said, you need to be careful. I said, oh, thank you. I could barely get the thank you out. <laughs> but that was one of the most memorable experiences. I've had many, but that was one of the most exciting the ones. The secret to my success as a carrier, I would say I have established a routine, um, a daily routine. I get up at the same time every day the exact same time from putting on my shoes to putting on my gear to getting in the car to when I gas it up you know to my throw sheet and I do the, my route exactly the same way in the same manner um, to uh, being consistent also uh, throwing the newspaper in the same spot uh, for every customer so that they don't have any trouble finding it, um, you know, and then you, you adjust, you know, according to weather um, or if there's a car or if there's something else that's in the way, you know, then you adjust a little bit. But I would say establish a routine and be consistent in where you throw the newspaper. Um, and like I said, just, you know, I mean, from getting up at the same time every day, that helps. That I have found that helps in my complaint ratio. When I get off of that routine, I might have one complaint <laughs> because, I, and I'm a very systematic person. I, I have to have a routine every day. So, like I said, from um, by establishing a routine, it helps. It helps me to think clearly and, you know, not even worry about. Um, you know, missing a paper or missing a customer. Sure. I have customers that, that know exactly what time I will be there, so they, sometimes they're right there at the door. <laughs> if I'm five minutes late, if I'm, 
you know, they're right there waiting. And they, they, most of them are very friendly, and they wave. And, you know, and, and if they are outside, I don't throw it at them. I, I get off my car, and I hand it to them and tell them thank you. So, you know, and that helps with the tips and the, you know, they're, and I actually I've had customers give me gifts and, you know, just little cards and words of encouragement. So that that's always very nice. It means that I can afford a little bit extra. I do have a full-time job and it helps with extra expenses. Like I said, I have two children that are in college, you know, and it's always something. When, when I started, they were in, in school, in grade school, so, you know, the excuse was, well, they need clothes and they need shoes and they need extras and then they became teenagers and teenagers want teenager stuff and they want the iPhones and, you know, and all of that good stuff and the name brand clothes. And now it, the excuse is that, well, they're in college, you know, so it has helped. Um, my children are my main focus, and so everything that I do, all the work that I do is for them. So um, it means that I can afford to give them a better quality of life um, and to make sure that they are able to continue, excuse me, continue their education, which is very important to me. Um, so that they don't have to get up at 3 in the morning <laughs> and throw the newspaper. Well, and if they do, you know, that's okay. But uh, I want to make sure that they don't have to struggle um, later on in life. So that's what it means to me. It means that I can afford a little bit extra for them. What this award means to me is, is um, I guess that I'm doing a decent job for the Standard Times. Um, but when uh, my district manager told me that she had nominated me I was very honored I said are you sure I'm worthy of this <laughs> and she had just told me that she nominated me and then later she told me that I had made the top whatever and I felt even more honored and humbled that um, that I was even nominated to receive an award for doing my job <laughs> but anything that I do I always put a hundred and ten percent whether it's throwing the newspaper or at my office, at my full-time job, or with my children, or cooking. Um, I always put 110%. So, um, you know, this, I guess this is, um, th these are the rewards that I get for, and I hope that it's an example for my children also, so they'll learn that, you know, hard work does pay off.